दिव्ये महादिव्ये शिवाये सततं नमः नमः प्रगते भद्राये नियता प्रणतास्मता ओम नमः पार्वती पतये हर नमस्कार के साथ जब मैं बात करना शुरू करता हूँ और कैमरा सामने होता है एक औपचारिकता सी स्वतः आ जाती है क्योंकि कई वर्षों का अभ्यास हो गया टेलीविजन के लिए बात करने का उसके पहले रेडियो के लिए बात करने का पर बात करने का जो सलीका है वो जहाँ से सीखने का क्रम शुरू हुआ तो विशेष रूप से स्मृतियाँ ले जाती हैं मुझे सूर्य नगर में और एक वो अवसर जो मिला संवित सत्र के सूत्रधार के रूप में कुछ क्रमबद्धता की दृष्टि से उद्घोषणाएं करने का स्वामी जी के आशीर्वाद से स्वामी जी की उपस्थिति में और उससे पूर्व तैयारी एक शाम पहले कौन माल्यार्पण करेगा कौन दीप प्रज्वलन करेगा इत्यादि बातें एक क्रमबद्धता कार्यक्रम के साथ साथ जीवन के साथ जुड़कर जीवन को कैसे परिष्कृत करे ये दृष्टि देने वाली जो सन्निधि करुणा में स्वामी जी की हमारे जीवन में है उसी के स्नेह का उसी की करुणा का अवलंबन लेकर मैं अभी जब बैठा हूँ यहाँ साउथ कैरोलिना में कोलंबिया में तो मेरे साथ डॉक्टर अजय ठाकुर जो फ्लोरिडा से पला रहे हैं सुनील तुपाले जिनके इस नूतन भवन के उद्घाटन के निमित्त हम सब एकत्रित हुए हैं हम बैठे हैं तो ये औपचारिक अनौपचारिक चर्चा विशेष करके करने का अनुरोध इन दोनों से जो मैंने किया तो ये कि हम स्वामी जी के साथ अपने संबंध की यात्रा के कुछ चिन्ह साथ साथ बांट पाए अजय से मैं शुरुआत करना चाहता हूँ स्वामी जी का स्मरण करते हुए आप अपने जीवन को जब देखते हैं तो आपको लगता है कि उनका उनसे जो आपने सीखा है वो आपके जीवन में उतरा है आ, क्या उतरा है या क्या ऐसा लगता है कि वो कुछ संकेत देते रहे और आप पकड़ पाए या ना पकड़ पाए स्वामी जी को मैं जब मैं हाई स्कूल में था तब से मैं जानता हूँ एक्चुअली मिडिल स्कूल से मैं स्वामी जी को जानता हूँ Uh, और जब मैं छोटा था स्वामी जी के साथ मैं वॉक ले जाता था तो इसी टाइम पे स्वामी जी मेरे को बताते रहते थे कि कि ये करो ये छोटी छोटी बातें को बहुत बड़ी बातें नहीं बताते थे और उनको मैं पकड़ लेता था uh, और जैसे जैसे साल बढ़ते गए मैंने दीक्षा काफ़ी सालों के बाद ली स्वामी जी से पर ऐसा हुआ है क्योंकि स्वामी जी का साथ मेरा संबंध छोटे बचपन से बना तो मेरे को ऐसा कभी नहीं लगा कि देर यू नो के एक चीज़ स्वामी जी से पहले कुछ अलग था उसके बाद था मेरी ज़िंदगी में स्वामी जी हमेशा रहे हैं तो इसलिए जब भी मैं जो कुछ करता हूँ वो उसी संवित साधक की समझ के करता हूँ मैं तो चाहे वो काम में हो चाहे घर में हो चाहे अपनी साधना में हो तो संवित साधक समझ के ही करता हूँ तो ऐसा मेरे को कभी नहीं लगा कि अगर मैं कुछ कर रहा हूँ तो स्वामी जी के स्वामी जी के क्या सो के स्वामी हाँ के यू नो वो एक रिफ्लेक्स है कंडीशन है अब इतनी अच्छी हिंदी नहीं है सो या सो इट इज इट इज नॉट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू पुट इट अ साइड इट इज एन इनहेरेंट इन यू so it is not like i have to make a conscious effort to uh, think in that way it is ingrained in me whatever uh, whatever i do in life uh, it comes from swamiji the inspiration comes from swamiji whether it comes 
within me whether it comes through a book or nowadays uh, whatsapp from uh, shroff ji <laughs> <laughs> that inspiration comes all the time and so i don't have to make an effort i don't have to think that where it is coming from so um sunil ji he uh, referred uh, sambit sadhak a term or to sambit sadhak ke roop mein uh, jab hum dekhte hain to kya aapko lagta hai what swami ji means when he uses the term sambit sadhak ke hum ek dusre ko sambit sadhak kehte hain to what is it that you would say differentiates uh first uh, normal sadhak and a samvit sadhak i don't know that there is really a difference a sadhak huh? he may not call he or she may not call oneself a samvit sadhak any sadhak hmm? samvit if you ask me what is it what i have learned is it is the truth of life it is the essence of life and uh, all of us all of us who are sadhaks who understand little bit of what sadhana is we are trying to express that uh, that that essence that is you in your thoughts in your words in your deeds in your whole life you are trying to express that and this is what i have understood after all these years of associating with marachi so that is what uh, i feel So there is no there is no need to say a samvit sadhak and another kind of because any sadhak what what they are doing is they are trying to to find their essence that is what life is all about you are trying to find your essence because that is the only thing that sustains through all the um, the uh, ups and downs through every aspect of life that is one thing that sutra jo kehte hai na wohi sutra hai aur wo sutra ko pehchana har paristhiti mein और उसका उसका अभिव्यक्ति करना विदाउट एनी विदाउट एनी ऑब्स्टेकल्स दैट इज व्हाट आई थिंक दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू सो वी मे नॉट सक्सीड आई वी मे वी डोंट नो आई डोंट नो हाउ फार आई हैव सक्सीडेड इन दैट बट एवर सिंस आई हैव कम इन टू स्वामी जीज कॉन्टैक्ट दैट इज बीन द मेन थ्रस्ट टू एक्सप्रेस दैट टू एक्सप्रेस द ट्रूथ या ट्रूथ दैट इज योर 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 एसेंस Uh, taking that cue as expressing your truth uh, ajay ji many times the kind of lifestyle that we have each one different distinct uh, with its own set of uh, conditions that may not have enough space as earlier uh, we were discussing uh, for the kind of sadhana that you think or anybody would think that is helpful in intensely uh, sustaining the feeling or uh, the bhava of being uh, in alignment with what uh, guru uh, is all about so how it has been for you have you ever felt that when you are in the close proximity of swami ji's physical form in india and you come back here and a kind of dilution starts happening because of the lifestyle that you have here now that is true actually uh and i actually as i get older <laughs> it is more uh, uh, evident to me and uh, actually i remember when i was kid my mom used to say you know we have to go to swami ji i need to get my battery charged and i used to say what is she talking about <laughs> uh, but that is so true it is happening to me you know i have not met swami ji for a year and i am feeling it and that's why i am already exploring maybe i can go back and uh, you know get to meet swami ji um so it does happen uh but uh, i think uh, a lot of that has to do with us uh uh and um, because swami ji is there with us and always and um uh, but we do need that for ourselves um but i do try to like i said i try to imbibe whatever swami ji has taught us in day to day life so um, for me my biggest source of inspiration actually i have learned from swami ji is coming from nature and actually i have picked up that and so in america when i do need that i i like hiking and that is when i really get in touch with nature and that is a source of inspiration for me in america so i don't go to the temple i usually go out in nature and go for walks that's what i do So that's Ashtamurti Upasana, uh, and I remember in 2001 when Swamiji was here, 
he also talked about ashta murti upasana here too and i believe uh, there was one uh, session or series of sessions at tiruvannamalai where they had a uh, shivir on ashta murti upasana um, so some of us who have known when we are addressing we are saying swami we are talking about swami shri ishwaranand giri ji maharaj we refer to him as pooja shri and um, as ajay or sunil or i would say swami ji the kind of bhava that we have it may be strange for someone who has not known him or who has not been familiar with the guru parampara so just to uh, put it in the perspective uh, sunil ji uh, guru of course as swami ji always says is not uh, confined to the physical form of a person guru vyakti nahi hai aisa wo hamesha kehte hain but i just want to uh, come back to the form uh, in which guru's grace uh, has unfolded itself for us so talk to me a little bit about even if we go towards the emotional uh, uh, side of uh, our um, bond with swami ji uh, what is it that uh, that comes to your mind as you enter into a new phase of life with a new home here in america what 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 is what emotional uh, lee connecting with memory of swami ji as you enter into a new home home here in america you see the thing is <clears throat> i have come back as you all know after a stint of stay in india and i had uh, even though in other aspects in material aspects that may not have been the very best phase i had a very very um, extremely personal and a very um beautiful time in india yes, and that was the reason for that was i got to spend a good bit of time with swami ji and uh, there is particularly one occasion where um, he called me to celebrate do navaratri celebrations one entire navaratri celebrations i got to do with him i have known swami ji since uh, 92 end of 92 in all these years i never had that opportunity so it was a very very um should i say i learned a lot because see the, the one of the uh, one of the scriptures is the durga saptashati i was already trained a little bit but my my understanding and um, uh, the um, the parayana of that very holy scripture um it needed some refinement so swami ji gave me that opportunity and uh, he he um he told me some finer points about that whole uh, upasana how to how to perform that whole sadhana so that was a very very um, i i would say that was a big gain even though on the um, uh, on the other aspect it was not a it was not such a good move so i kind of um Uh, when we are moving and like ajay says we are, we are kind of limited uh, by the fact that we are far away and uh, the opportunity to meet with him are few and far between for all of us but as you said and from the very beginning swami ji has always been stressing this idea that don't make guru as a person and he's always been stressing that and he never tires of repeating it uh i would say that that be that as it may i am not so much involved to 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 um, uh, to you know to um what should i say to feel his presence in that that level where he is expressing himself i still need the physical presence every now and then like ajay said we need the we need our batteries to be charged and i've always uh, made an effort to be with him at least once a year and uh, for for the occasion of guru purnima and um, the effort has always been that we try to connect with him in an impersonal way even though it's very difficult and many a times we don't succeed but the effort has always been there and uh, i remember one time i i asked him this question what is one to do when one is far away and i think i have expressed this in, a, in an, another place he just looked away and said you how can you how can you ever think like that you are never away from me and i am never away from you the problem is you are taking me to be this i am never away from you i am there 
in the scriptures that you read i am there in the in the murti upasana that you do i, mean, I means the avyakta the guru which is avyakta and in all the ashtamurtis you just mentioned ashtamurti in all that i am there if you if you if you keep that in your awareness you will never be away from me so i ri- like to recall that even though it is very difficult and i am without any hesitation i say that it's extremely difficult because hum jo kehte hai na bahirmukta jyada hai aur hamari pravrittiyan yahan aisa hai ki bahirmukta jyada hota hai to antarmukhi hona bahut bahut usme bahut sayam ki avashyakta hai to wo jitni jitni matra mein ho sake hum prayatna to karte hain kabhi kabhar humko usme safalta bhi aa jati hai lekin wo sustained nahi rehta hai to for that to to uh, to uh, make up for that i feel that that physical <laughs> presence is needed even for a short while once in a while saal mein ek bar to milna hota hai bhagwan kare aisa hi rahe aur humko bahut saal aise mile that is my that, that is how i i see it especially when we are and as you you ask me this i am somehow hoping against hope that uh, by god's grace his health will improve so much <laughs> that he will consent to come here and uh, make his presence here so that we can <laughs> we can share that and bask in his spiritual presence so we have a place that we kept specially with him in consideration so then when we start our new life in this house that is what i would like to uh, remember so now uh, as a sadhaka when he uh, expresses this then i'm tempted to say om namah parvati pataye ara ara mahadev thinking of swami ji is uh, an instant source of uh, connecting with that space which we have discovered within and that is the best place that we have ever touched uh, within ourselves and how that happens that that mystery uh, we may not have 2 plus 2 to explain that equation but each one of us in with our own uh, swabhava uh, finds a way uh, to resonate with uh, what uh, sunil ji was expressing as uh, expressing our own truth uh, etc now um there are um various ways and i, I just recollect this shloka from vashishth gita moksha dware dwarpala chatwara parikirtita samo vichara santosha chaturtha sadhu sangam now sadhu sangam one is of course physical physical presence another uh, we invoke that presence now when invoking swami ji's presence what we have received uh, is abundant uh, in our lives from him so in our shastras there is a provision of urin hone ki baat aati hai na devrin pitrin is prakar ke to kabhi hum aisa sochein ki hum usko measure bhi nahi kar sakte hain ki hame swami ji se kitna mila and if we want not using the word repay but just sort of um, in the rhythm of uh, that love which is selfless to hum unke liye kuch kare aisa bhav kabhi kabhi hamare mann mein aata hai kabhi bahut teevrata se aata hai kabhi chhut jata hai is tarah ki sthiti aapki bhi rehti hai ha yes uh, every time uh, you know we are always thinking about swami ji and you know yahan rehte hue to kafi distance hai to isliye to I try to do, you know, my, my sister used to say to me, okay, okay, you know, we all are meant to do some things. Some people can do shramdhan, some people can do this thing. Um, so I do, uh, I always think about it and do, uh, but I don't like to talk about that. I don't really talk about that at all. So, but yes, I always, I always thinking what can I do to, uh, not for Swamiji, it's more for the ashram. Yes, we we can't give any so I, i i understand where you are uh, reaching and why you are hesitant so let's go to that side where we can share and that sharing as a sadhaka so as a sadhaka to intensify your sadhana or uh, to sort of uh, uh, have the assurance that 
you are following the footsteps as has been shown uh, by Swamiji. So what is it that you think you have added in your sadhana or in your perception or in your uh, approach in life um, with respect to how you uh, conduct your affairs, how you interact with people, how you relate to family members? Has there been any uh, additional awareness because of His grace in uh, this line? Of course, it, it, that that uh, that inspiration, that guidance has has come a long time back. Uh, like when he when he gave the instruction that don't consider the guru as a person. He said one more thing: don't consider anybody as a person. See, even in your normal transactions, when you are interacting with the society, with the family, and all this. We are not interacting, see, we are in, this idea that we are inter, interacting with a person that should be just at the periphery. The real effort should be to understand that whatever you are coming in contact with is not the person. So in our everyday transactions, the effort to, to, to have the touch with the impersonal, that is the real connection. We should... Uh, we should try to focus on that. So that that idea has he has reinforced many many times. So even when you are you know sometimes when you are there are problems you know, he says that you see he has told me, see, band kyu jate ho? Why can't you why can't you be a free person? See the very fact that you are you are getting bounded means that your approach is wrong. So he had always in all our personal contacts, he has enforced, he has tried to reinforce that idea that you must be, you must try to keep this in your awareness that what you are coming in contact with is not a not a person, but the what the, the technical word that is used is avyakta, and the akhanda, which is really the limitless one. It's very 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 difficult to to to, mm. but sometimes still it sometimes it still we try to do that. And that has brought a very, very big change. So it put things uh, in perspective. And we don't get too enmeshed. There is a problem of getting enmeshed in situations and in persons. So if you take this approach, I would say that, you know, um, to, to some extent, it has helped us to wade through all the, <laughs> all the pitfalls of life. I'm not, I'm not by any means saying that uh, we have reached that perfection, but I'm saying even that struggle, even while going through that struggle, some of the instructions that, that he has given, they have, they come and they, you know, in a very silent way. All the, see, the great things happen only silently without our noticing it. And we find that some of the way we have reacted to situations, or I would, I would say reacted is the wrong word, we approached certain situations in life, I see his stamp <laughs> that, that and he, he has he has guided us very and it has been extremely invaluable to me. So that expression you see his stamp and as the uh, time is uh, running out and we want to conclude uh, this conversation but I also uh, feel that his stamp and continuously uh, his stamp everywhere um, uh, without actually making itself uh, uh, felt in a way that would take away our uh, natural way of living is there as a part of our lives. And um, as to sum it up, Ajay, um, I know you were blessed that your mother was very much um, um, in close uh, uh, proximity of Swami, your family, your father. Uh, Yet sometimes uh, other family members are a part of uh, his orbit and we may have a kind of different way of <laughs> looking at or letting him. Probably that situation never happened in your case. Um, no, actually uh, in our family everybody looks at it in a different way. I don't think so. We all have the same way of looking at things. Uh, we all have our personalities. You know, the best example I give that is when you go to Swamiji's function, you know, like you have a Jodhpur crowd, you have Ahmedabad crowd, you have a Flodi crowd, you have a Bangalore crowd. They are all different personalities. But the beauty of it is you go to Swamiji, they are all one. 
in their own different special way they all have their own so i, I don't think so the same thing is true within a family it's not like everybody is the same we all look at things in a different way because we all bring uh, some life experiences which are different from each other and um, but uh, the the source is the same and uh, and i think that's uh, what uh, you know we, even if we deviate a little bit here and there uh, we always come back to the source and uh, and that really helps us uh, go through all the you know uh, the difficulties that we might come across in life and so i think the common link has been how to recover from adversities i think there is a very strong that is something that has come from swamiji that we are all very strong and uh, that strength comes from swamiji that no matter what the adversity is we have been able to you know continue in the right direction even it sometimes people do not so i think what you said reminds me swamiji ne kaha ki wo jo abhishap sa lagta hai usme bhi aap vardan dekh sakte ho and he quotes some uh, sanskrit verse where uh, he reminds us that each and every word has the potential of becoming a mantra and no human being is useless uh, there is a potential and that uh, reminds me of uh, what swami ji <laughs> vivekananda ji said that each soul is potentially divine uh, the difference of is of the degree <laughs> to ma- <laughs> manifest and now looking at the laughter of the camera person who wants us to conclude this and uh, then uh, you have to appreciate both sides so i appreciate this side this side now appreciating that side uh, shaila ji uh, thank you very much and uh, to all those who um, have been with us from point a when we started talking <laughs> to this point when we are concluding thank you very much uh, for being with us and may uh, guru shakti work uh, through us and help us in staying in alignment with the truth of our being and once again uh, in presence of dr ajay thakur uh, geeta ji and bala ji i um sunil ji is uh, of course being addressed now so sunil ji i have lots of uh, good wishes and when you mentioned that uh, this is the occasion and i i kind of thought that we'll come here and um, with the intense smaran of swami ji i don't know whether we could um, have that but it was already there and it is already there so may we continue uh, to stay immersed just, uh, just to uh, just to uh, reinforce or corroborate your idea see we have been together for i think a little over 14 15 years more with you a little bit longer with you the real inspiration has been Swami. Swamiji, if it was not for him, <laughs> we would not be together like this. Absolutely. And that is the, as I said, is he is the sutra, and I believe uh, we have uh, seen each other. We have seen the best of each other, <laughs> the worst of each other, and if we have managed, to, if, if we have managed to stay together, uh, uh, that is 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 the real force behind it. so uh, that is one thing that i have uh, being so far away still that we are able to keep that samvit touch because of this contact so i really appreciate the um, uh, the fellowship and the friendship that i have shared with with uh, sadakas like you uh, all these years and that has uh, reinforced our sadhana and our samvit attitude and approach to life ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिदम पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओम शांति 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 राजधरण की जय लाडले लाल की जय कृष्ण गोपाल की जय राधा प्यारी की जय सावरे गिरधारी की जय आज के आनंद की जय 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 श्री राधे ओम नमः पार्वती पतये राधे अरुदय मात की जय जय बोलो श्री सोमेश्वर महादेव की जय सत्य सनातन धर्म की जय हो धर्म की जय हो धर्म का नाश हो प्राणियों में सद्भावना हो विश्व का कल्याण हो हर हर महादेव Hey, 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 hey.